everybody, Justine from the Arts College and artbehavior.com and I absolutely love doing these vlogs. I love learning about how the creative world has an impact on our uh, brain development of neurons, on how we function, on how we cope, how we build coping strategies, all these areas. And the more I work with newer clients or clients who've been with me for quite some time, they consistently teach me learning something new about the research as and when we grow through the development. Now, I've been doing this for over 20 years and every time I lift a stone, I see a whole mountain hill of information and research and it is just phenomenal. And um, what I'm going to tell you a bit about is the process of drawing. Now, um, this specific project I've been doing with quite a few clients right now and when I take you behind the process of what we do, how we start, then you can actually see the impact of just how the brain works together and how it's the most phenomenal organ. So this is the project here that everybody that I, I put everybody onto. And bearing in mind, I don't just get people to draw this immediately. There's a few steps that they do beforehand. And um, then we obviously build up to this what perceives to be a very difficult image to draw. Now, um, I absolutely loved doing the research behind this because, uh, first of all, there's a, there's a process to, to drawing this. There's a process to break it down to achieve the steps that we get to this area. And the first steps that we actually achieve is um, how to measure and how to check the proportions. And then what we do is we do the outline of the image and we don't just jump in and start shading and drawing. What I do is I hold people back and I then get them to check these main points by a system that we know as triangulation. Now when you're looking at this whole image, it is quite overwhelming because you've got a point here, 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 and there's so many points that you, you're you wanting to check and find and discover to see that it is in proportion. And then at this point, I have a lot of students go, oh my word, this is just such a mountain to climb and it's so overwhelming and what do I do? And I take this on them on this process and I explain that what we're doing is we're finding the main points of these areas and how to get to that point. But we work on one area at a time. So we take this and we chunk it down so that it's not such a large, uh, huge project to achieve. And when we used, we, we, we call a point system where we use two points or two areas to come and show us where one point is to get our drawing in the exact position and height. So we get it to exactly know that the neck is exactly there, the hand is exactly there, the elbow is exactly there, under the arms is exactly there, the waist is exactly there. The system that we use to do this is really intriguing because it feels like it's a lot of work in the beginning, but it actually shortcuts 70% of drawing time and space and uh, learning. Now, when I tell people this, they look at me and they go, what? I don't know what you're on, on about because this just doesn't make sense. But what happens is when we have our experiences, when we have our um, our, whatever we, we're trying to achieve in the actual uh, drawing the subject, the way people actually approach the subject and draw it tells you a lot about their processing in life, their processing to their challenges, and even um, the processing to how they actually are going to face those challenges. Now with technical drawing, I've done a lot of research behind how this particular specific type of drawing helps unlock parts of your brain to really find the solution and go straight to what the core problem is that you've been trying to work out for over a long, long, long time and you're going over and over and over in your mind or you even say the things of, oh my word, I thought I'd dealt with this or this memory keeps coming up or um, it's coming up in a different way and I don't know why I'm doing this. Perhaps you're doing a pattern and a habit and it's still continuing in this way. So this type of process actually teaches the brain to get to the core issue of what is really going on. And then obviously it's looking at your, your language and how you speak yourself through the process to actually get to that area. 
Now, what I love is I absolutely love it when I have professionals go, oh, well, that's just art. And I just, I really love it when they do that because um, it makes me become even more inspired to know that I, I'm actually sitting here and getting to the core point of what the per perception of the block is. And I, like I say to people, you know, when you are speaking to people, people have been taught how to say what you want to hear or uh, mirage or mirror over things and fantasies that they say they are okay in, but there's other areas to work through. So whenever I do a project like this and I say to them, okay, let us do a drawing project together and we're going to uncover the core stuff of what's really going on here. And when they go through this process, they are really shocked at what comes out. We're human. We're constantly growing. We're constantly evolving. We're constantly changing. Uh, you know, wherever we are, it doesn't matter how old we are or young or how much we've learned, how much we haven't learned. No matter how much qualifications we have, the drawing process does not lie. Uh, and I absolutely love it because it strips off all our labels and our uh, perceptions we carry and gets straight to the core. So when people are drawing out of proportion and they get frustrated, it's because they haven't been given the actual skills to know how to get to those points. So then they give up and they think they're a failure. Or they go, oh, well, I was never ever good in school anyways with art, so therefore that's obviously a bad thing. And I just listen to people's language. So I challenge you to look at an image like this and draw it and watch how you approach that drawing project. Watch how you speak to yourself. Now, you probably are going to rip yourself to shreds and say that you're absolutely terrible at art. But then what I want you to do is to actually go through the process and draw it and put it out there. Because then you will start seeing you, in actual fact, do not have the skill set to get to this point. And we label ourselves or put, criticize ourselves thinking something's wrong with us when all it is is just learning a new way of solution thinking to get to that end result. When you start actually achieving it and you, and you go beyond this point that you go, oh my word, I've actually done this, you surprise yourself. Now, I had a client who um, was so scared. They had been brought up in a, a, a different form of industry, in a creative industry, where their schooling was very strict and you couldn't make mistakes, you know, things like this with their further education. So when I asked them to actually just paint and do a whole shape and just move this shape, they actually burst into tears because they were holding onto so many habits and um, perceptions of what they think they're not good at and they're still carrying it. When they did this and they actually see there was just moving something so simple, they burst into tears and it was so inspiring to watch it because at the end of the day, we carry so much that we are not even aware of that we are unconsciously, you know, um, holding on to and say we're okay with, but we are not really okay. And our external world starts showing this and, and demonstrating this through the people we meet, through the experiences, how we deal with our challenges. So it's really, really fascinating. I'd love to set you up for the challenge. Go and draw something like this. But then I want you to ask yourself, after you've drawn this, how much skills do I think I have that I thought I could draw this? And it's not about the drawing because then that's testing where your next level of growth is in your area that you love to learn. Because then maybe that's your next level of area of learning to take you to the next stage.